Well, the number of globally confirmed cases now stands at over 91,000. More than 3,000 people have uh, now died, while 48,190 have recovered. For businesses across the UK, the virus and the plans to contain it represent a serious problem. Already thousands of people are being told to work from home and sporting events are also under threat. The Cheltenham Horse Racing Festival among them. Sky's home editor Jason Farrell has this report. This was the Cheltenham Festival last year. A quarter of a million people flocked to this race course from across the globe. And as they prepared to host the annual event again next week, there were concerns the Cheltenham Gold Cup might have to be postponed. But with a sigh of relief, organisers say the race is on. There's £100 million, which it means to Cheltenham and the immediate vicinity. And that, that, that is huge, and we, and we don't want to risk that. And I think, as the government said, they want to see business as usual. Uh, they want to see great events taking place. They don't want to see the country brought to a standstill. While Cheltenham's gig economy gets a boost from the festival, locals are concerned over the government's warning that at the peak of the virus, up to a fifth of the UK workforce may be off sick. You know, you either come out and earn a living or sit at home and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ignore it. I don't know what would happen, actually. Would you I'm get sick pay? I think we get sick pay for about three days of a year, so not enough to cover that up. Cheltenham's also, of course, home of GCHQ, but no secret agency can stop this attack. Apart from soap and water, there's a sense of powerlessness about it. With that come security concerns around police shortages. The government says forces may need to focus on only the most serious crimes as the virus spreads. Here, the local Gloucestershire Police Force have told us that they're not anticipating a worst-case scenario, but the public would expect them to plan for it. And that's the same message from the National Chief Police Council. They say their contingency plans include changing shift patterns and potentially moving police officers around the country to help out those forces most in need. As the government calls for a hygiene crackdown, even the Queen was taking precautions, unusually wearing long gloves whilst doing an investiture. But the biggest concern is what happens at hospitals, where the government says added pressures could mean non-urgent operations getting postponed. There's 100,000 NHS staff vacancies. Um, of that, there's about 43,000 nursing vacancies specifically and 10,000 doctor vacancies. So we're, we're already not fully staffed. Um, so when you then add in a potential, you know, COVID pandemic, Yes, there's going to be a lot of stress and a lot of concern. Areas of central London seemed quieter today. Some people taking visible precautions. This virus will spread, says the government, but for now, wash your hands and carry on. Jason Farrell, Sky News.